We'd have the dog just standing on the rock, just standing there with trainers, just having him move his head. How did you start off? So when I was a freshman in college, I started filming weddings and I would make friends in college that would do like, you know, plays and you know, musicals and stuff and I would film them. And... I had the decision I made on my own. I left all my friends back here because I knew what was in my best interest. So don't hesitate to do what you think is in your best interest, okay? Do you guys have a plan A, obviously, if you know what you want to do, but do you have a plan B and a plan C? How many of you have YouTube and you watch videos on YouTube? It's okay to raise your hand. I do it too. You're using the technology. It's H256. It's a satellite encoder. This goes up through some wires, a little dish that's on the top of the truck. A big board's on the wall. You have to go out and write down the directions. And it'll take you a long time to write down the directions for a whole day, especially when you don't know where you go. But now they have, it's all computer generated. So you walk in in the morning, it gives you all the times, plus your time points. In other words, you're riding down the street, you can't just go as fast as you can. You're supposed to hit time points. So if you're coming out to get the bus at the corner of your street, and it says 7.30, if I get there at 7.20, you're not even gonna be out there waiting for me. I'm gonna be long gone. So we have this the news with the computer generated sheet, it gives you everything. The time you leave, the times in between. And that's a real good question because that makes a huge, huge difference. Brad and I went to Boston College for graduate school. Because when you get out of a four-year degree, whether you go to a private school or you go to a state school, you're both working the same hours, you're both doing the same work. So if nursing is your career, that's great. But if it isn't, whatever your career is, choose it wisely. You cannot get through a single day without having an impact on the world around you. What you do makes a difference, and you have to decide what kind of difference you want to make. Um, we do five towns, three districts in the area. We do Blackstone, Melville. 70 yellow school buses and about a dozen vans. Right now, a school bus driver is getting paid about $28 an hour. A lot of people will think about, this is what's going wrong today, and this is what I need to build today. How do I fix this problem? We think about the long-term work. So in 10 years from now, how do we make sure that the decisions you make today don't prohibit you from doing things in the future? Technology changes on an everyday basis. Sizers, and they're very sharp, and the cuspids are the ones that tear the food, which is more Last murder I investigated, it never got solved, and I don't think it ever gets solved because there was no witnesses to it, and there was only five pieces of evidence. You think that you go to, like, if you watch CSI and watch these crime scene shows, there's evidence all over the place. There was only five pieces of evidence, and all of the evidence came from the victim. For half of my the 20 years, for nine years, I was on patrol. And then I got promoted to forensics. Fingerprints are made from ridge skin, so we might find fingerprints at a crime scene. What else might you find, might you find at a crime scene? What can we get from blood? DNA, what's DNA? Yeah, it's your genetic information. So let's say you commit a crime, and you leave DNA, let's say you sneeze at the crime scene. Shoot, we can get your, genet what, get your DNA from mucus. Well, that's not significant, right? And that's what they have to decide. If there is a difference between the two, enough, right, that you both get a patent, or if not, who, suppose you invented the same exact thing at the same time. And it's all legitimate, it's all honest, it's all true. Then what happens? It's who gets there first. And so if you don't like standing up, you don't like talking to people, you don't like litigating as they call it, which is arguing and fighting and having trials, that doesn't mean you can't be a lawyer. That, you see that on TV, because that's the stuff that makes, you know, makes fun for people, right? When you're watching TV, you see that stuff. But that's not necessarily all the lies. It's so different. There's so many things you could be doing. In fact, there's more people who never go into court as lawyers than those who do go into court. How are they on the field? Are they a good teammate? Are they a good leader? Do they have capabilities of being a leader? We'll talk to the AD. How does everything look in a bigger perspective? 
Um, so we put a lot of research to make sure that you as a student athlete match the philosophy of our program. It's like each piece like that is a piece of leather that's like about this big. <laughs> Um, and it goes like, there's rows and rows and rows of it. This is a program that we use called Miro. It's basically just like a giant whiteboard and everybody pulls in their inspiration images and like what they're looking for for the season. Um, there's not that many color pops or anything that we can do, so it's more about creating a story that a bunch of different shoes can look like and create the seasonal story.